Good morning students. So today we are going to solve the different questions shared by me in my worksheet and was asked by the different students in the online class. So the first question for today is we need to find five irrational numbers in radical form line between four and five. Now what is this radical form? Radical form is nothing but root that is either square root, cube root, fourth root, nth root, so on. So we need to write five rational numbers in radical form line between 4 and 5. So this 4 I can write as 4 is equal to under root 16 and 5 is equal to under root 25. Now we need to write 5 irrational numbers. As we studied in our ninth class that Irrational numbers are those numbers which are non-repeating, non-terminating or any number in root form which is not a perfect square are irrational. So after root 16 there will be root 17, root 18, root 19, root 20, root 21, root 22 root 23, root 24. So out of these 8, we need to write only 5. We need to select, we need to choose any 5 irrational numbers. So, which are line between 4 and 5. So, my numbers are under root 17, under root 18, under root 19, under root 20, and under root 21. So this will be the answer of the first question. I hope you understand this. Now the second question for today is this is question number 19b of my worksheet and the question is we need to find SCF and LCM of 2 x pay power 4 y cube z and 32 x cube y pay power 4 p square. So we need to find the SCF and LCM of these two numbers. Now in algebraic expression, the SCF is the common of the two given expression. So if we see this 2 x p power 4 y cube z and 32 x cube y p power 4 p square, the common in both is 2 x cube and y cube. So SCF of these two number is nothing but the common in both the numbers. So HCF of 2 x to the power 4 y cube z and 32 x cube y pay power 4 p square is equal to 2 x cube y cube what left here x z what left here 16 y 
P square. So this common in both is the SCF. This common in both the terms is the SCF. So SCF is equal to 2x cube y cube. Now next we, we need to find the LCM of these two numbers. So here we, we are going to use the concept that SCF into LCM of two numbers is nothing but the product of the two numbers. So LCM is equal to product of the two numbers upon SCF. So what we how we are going to find LCM? LCM of 2 x to the power 4 y q z and 32 x q y to the power 4 p square is equal to the product of two numbers that is 2 x to the power 4 y q z into 32 x cube y to the power 4 p square upon 2 x cube y cube so we cancel this 2 by 2 x cube by x cube y cube by y cube so LCM is 32 x to the power 4 y to the power 4 z p square this is the LCM of these two numbers I hope you will be you all will understand what I explain now the third question for today is this is question number 21 of the worksheet and the question is explain why Seven into eleven into thirteen plus thirteen is composite number. Now my question is what is composite number? So the composite numbers are numbers having factor more than two. That is three or more. The other way of saying this definition is composite numbers are those numbers whose factors are 3 or more. So anyhow if we can express this whole number as a product of 3 or more numbers so our problem will solve. So how we are going to show that this whole number is actually multiple of three or more numbers so for that I am going to take 13 common this will be 7 into 11 plus 1 so this is 13 into 78 so this is 13 into 2 into 3 into 13 into 1 if we see in this whole after breaking it as a prime factorization we will get four numbers this is one this is two this is three this is four so there are four factors that is one two three and thirteen one two three and thirteen there are four factors so 
if a number is having three or more factors that number is composite so this is how we will show that this whole number is a composite number because it is having four different factors one is a factor two is a factor three is a factor and 13 is a factor i hope again you do we under, you understand what i explain you now the next question for today is next question for today is if the lcf of two number is 23 and the other two factors of their lcm are 13 and 14 we need to find the other two numbers the question is if lcf of number is 23 and the other two factors of their lcm are 13 and 14 find the two numbers now again there is a concept behind it that if you find the scf of any two numbers that scf is the common in both the numbers and the rest will all including scf will be the lcm of the two numbers so if we see the scf of the two number is 23 means this 23 is common in both the numbers and the other two factors of their lcm are 13 and 14 So the first number here will be twenty three and thirty, and the second number will be here twenty three and forty. So the other two numbers will be twenty three into thirty and twenty three into forty. So the other two solution is the other two numbers are this scf common into the first factor of the lcm and 23 into 40 so this will give me 299 and this will give me 322 so numbers are 299 and 322 now the next question is not from the worksheet but was asked by some student and the question is we need to show that n cube minus n is divisible by 6 for any integer value of n 
So, how we are going to solve this question? Show that for positive integer value of n, n cube minus n is divisible by 6. Here we will take the six cases. Why the six cases? Because the divisibility rule of six says when the divisor is six, then there will be six different numbers. So the solution says if divisor is equal to 6 then a is equal to 6 q a is equal to 6 q plus 1 a is equal to 6 q plus 2 a is equal to 6 q plus 3 a is equal to 6 q plus 4 and a is equal to 6 cube plus 5. Now, after this, we will treat each term as a case. This is case 1, case 2, case 3, case 4, case 5 and case 6. And we will put the value of n accordingly in each case is as 6 q, 6 q plus 1, 6 q plus 2. Before that, n q minus n is n, n minus 1, n plus 1. Now the first case says, what it says, it says, if n is equal to 6 q, then n cube minus n is equal to 6 cube minus 1 6 cube and 6 cube plus 1 if we see here this 6 cube is divisible by 6 case 2 If n is equal to 6 q plus 1, then n q minus n is equal to 6 q, 6 q plus 1 and 6 q plus 2. Because this is 6 q minus, while putting the value of n as 6 q plus 1 will get 1 down 6 q, this term 6 q plus 1, this term 6 q plus 2. And again, this 6 q plus 6 q is divisible by 6. Case 3 says if n is equal to 6 q plus 2, then n q minus n is equal to 6 q plus 1. 6 q plus 2 and 6 q plus 3. Here this 6 q plus 1 will be treated as it is. Here 2 is common. So 3 q plus 1. Here 3 is common. 2 q plus 1. Now this 2 and this 3 combinedly will give us 6. Case 4. If n is equal to 6 q plus 3, then n q minus n is equal to 
सिक्स क्यू प्लस टू सिक्स क्यू प्लस थ्री एंड सिक्स क्यू प्लस फोर अगेन हियर टू इज कॉमन थ्री क्यू प्लस वन थ्री इज कॉमन टू क्यू प्लस वन एंड अगेन टू इज कॉमन थ्री क्यू प्लस टू वी सी दिस टू एंड दिस थ्री कंबाइंडली विल गिव अस सिक्स Similarly, in case four, which I am going to write up here, now case five, it says if n is equal to six q plus four, then n cube minus n is equal to six q plus three, six q plus four, and six q plus five. Now here, this three is common, two q plus one. Here two is common, three q plus two, and this will be as it is. And if you see this three and this two, combinedly give six. and the last case case 6 if n is equal to 6 q plus 5 then n cube minus n will be 6 q plus 4 6 q plus 5 6 q plus 6 here 2 is common 3 q plus 2 here 6 q plus 5 as it is And here six is common. Q plus one. This this six here again divisible by six. So these six cases in each case we can show that this n cube minus n is divisible by six in each cases. Now after this. the next question is if x and y are any odd positive integers then we need to show that x square plus y square is even but not divisible by 4 so for this i am going to write the question and the question 6 is if x and y both are positive odd integers then show that x square plus y square is even but not divisible by 4 so we know that in our previous class class 8 class 7 any odd positive integer is of the form 2q plus 1 2n plus 1 2n plus 1 and 2n plus 3 2q plus 3 so here we treat let so solution is let x is equal to 2m plus 1 and x is y is equal to 2n plus 1 So x square plus y square is equal to 2m plus 1 whole square plus 2n plus 1 whole square. If we solve this, this will give me 4m square plus 1 plus 4m, and this will give me 4n square plus 1 plus 4m. if we solve this further this will give me 
4m square plus 4m square plus 4m plus 4n plus 2 and here it is clear that we can take 2 as common and the left is 2m square plus 2n square plus 2m plus 2n plus 1. Now it is clear from this last line that this number is even because it is divisible by 2 but not divisible by 4. So this is the solution for this question. Now the last question is based on Euclid division algorithm to find the SCF and after that X pressing that SCF in a particular pattern. Now the question is, the last question for today is using Euclid division algorithm find the HCF of 1190 and 1445 and then X Press it in the form eleven hundred ninety M plus fourteen hundred forty five N. So many questions of this type you will find in the different side books R S Agarwal, R D Sharma, even some other books. Now, how to solve this question? So, first of all, nothing using Euclid division algorithm. We will find the SCF and after that, I will show you how to express this 1190, the SCF of these two numbers in this form. Now, for this, I am going to rough the last, this solution. So, 1145 is 1190 into 1 plus 255. After this 1190 is 255 into 4. Plus, this is 1020 and this will give me 170. After this, 255 is 170 into 1 plus 85. And after this, 170 is 85 into 2 plus 0. So, this 85 is my SCF. After this, we will express this SCF in this form. Now, how we will do this? So, from here, we will find the value of 85 in terms of 255 and 170. And then, we will express this 170 in the form of 1190 and 255. And then, we will express this 255 in form of 11, 1445 and 1190 and we will see we are only left with these two numbers at last. This will be 
with a positive multiple and this will be with a negative multiple and accordingly after multiplying and adding both we will get 85 as an SCF and then and then we will express the SCF 85 in this form. We will get some value of M as an integer and N as an integer. So how to do this now? So from the, this last step 85 is nothing it's 255 into sorry 255 minus 170 into 1 after this we will move to the second step where the 170 is nothing 1190 minus 255 into 4 so we will write this 255 minus 170 in place of 170 I will write 1190 minus 255 into 4 into 1 so this will give me this minus minus plus this will give me 255 here 1 it is there 4 it is there so 255 into 5 minus 1190 this is 85 this is 85 after this we will write this 255 from here in terms of 11, 1445 and 1190 so this 255 is 14 minus 1190 into 1 into 5 minus 1190 after this I am going to solve at the top here so if you see this 85 is 1445 into 5 minus 1190 into 1 into 5 is 1190 into 5 into 1190 into 1 so 1190 into 6 this I can write 14 into 5 plus 1190 into minus 6 or the last step is 85 is equal to 1190 into minus 6 plus 1445 into 5 so if we compare these two with the given expression that 85 is 1190 m plus 1445 n so this is my m and this is my n so m is minus 6 and n is 5 so this is all for today I hope this all solutions will help you for your further problem solving thank you for today